So I've seen a few people have questioned why I haven't made an announcement on my um, social media, like on my Instagram page or anywhere about Eduardo or about Jonathan. TikTok? What kind of TikTok? You want a taste of my brain? Okay, it's yours anyway. A bite of my eye. Alright, I won't put up a fight. How about today? You try eating someone else for a change. Because the wedding will say I'm not a last another day. Yes. Today is Amelia's 335th episode of What episode are you on now? I don't know. <laughs> Looks count. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. In our last video, there were a lot of questions from lots of you directed towards me. So I think a lot of you are interested to know from my perspective as the wife of a non-binary person and the mother of a trans daughter what that's like for me. Feel free to leave questions, anything that I've missed in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Honestly, no. Like everybody in our close circle of friends has been really supportive but I wouldn't really expect anything less from them because I think when you get to a certain age you don't really let people into your life that you don't fully trust and your circle becomes smaller. I personally feel like that's her decision to make. It's her name, it's not mine, so I don't have a problem with it. Eduardo is the same as all of our other children. I don't really think that there's any changes to do with bringing her up that I would make. No. <laughs> this is a really short video. Eduardo has been who Eduardo is for actually pretty much like wholeheartedly for the last two years now and so all of those kind of growing pains have already been ironed out so no everybody has been really accepting at school for the most part obviously there's been a few hiccups but children I'm not worried about it's more an adult problem um, and that's the kind of thing that we just cross those bridges as we come to them so Eduardo's seven almost eight so nobody knows her feelings on her sexuality so that's all just like up in the air it's completely not even a thing um and jonathan yes i've always known <laughs> his sexual preferences it's been really obvious to me no not in real life at all i think people on the whole are really just normal about this kind of thing especially in 2022 Online is obviously different, but then online you have to know that there's a lot more different opinions out there. There are people that you wouldn't necessarily have in your friend group watching um, or in your town or in your country. Like there's just so many differences. So I kind of expect that, um, but no, not in, not in our immediate lives. No, not really. There wasn't ever a specific moment. It's always just been like an accumulation of little things. But even so, it's not, it's not like there was a big realization. It was just kind of like your, chi your children show you who they are and that unfolds as they grow up. And it's no different with Eduardo. Absolutely not. Like 100% <laughs> no. If anything, I think it would have been the other way around that Eduardo influenced Jonathan, you know, to kind of open himself up a little bit more and share his true feelings with the world and his true identity with the world. I, again, like I said before, I don't, I don't surround myself with people like that. So it just wouldn't make sense. I would never have friends that were that thought that way. I don't have friends that think that way, so no. I think in reality, like this is a learning curve for both of us, so, um, but I think because we've got such an open line of communication, that's been really good because we can both kind of like let each other know um, how we can better support each other, which has been really good. And I know that with other schools, we probably wouldn't have been so lucky. So I'm 
really thankful for that. I think I was actually the one <laughs> that told him that that would, that is probably where he lies on the, if, is there a scale? Like, I don't really know. Um, because I had followed a couple of people that were non-binary and I didn't really, like before I didn't really understand it very well. And then when I followed those people and like actually got educated about what it was, it just kind of seemed to fit. Um, obviously they're not completely, like I think there's still, um, there's a lot of different types of non-binary as well. So he doesn't fit into like one box and I don't think anybody really does. But it was, it seemed like the label, if you like, that fit the best. Uh, but I think I was the one that brought that to him. <laughs> I don't know, like, is this question for me? Is it for the universe? Is it for the people that decide those kinds of things? Like, I don't really know. Um, I wouldn't consider myself gay because I'm with a man. So, <laughs> no, no. Not at all, because I know for a fact that Jonathan is not attracted to men in any way. But even if he were, like, he's attracted to females, right? But I'm still not worried that he's going to go off and sleep with other females. So it's the same thing. Like, I just don't really, I don't actually really get that question. Because even if he were bisexual, which he's not, why would that make it more likely for him to cheat, you know? The best thing is definitely that we are best friends and he's always been able to, he's always had this like really cool way of being able to relate to me even though he's not me. And in a way that a lot of, I've noticed a lot of other partners, like straight male partners, and uh, straight male husbands uh, of friends of mine haven't been able to do that. And that's just been like a natural thing, but I think it's it's been a really healthy thing. Um, also, he's always had female friends and just naturally got on with women. That's never bothered me ever. Um, in fact, I see it as a good thing because it's just, it kind of like, <sighs> Oh, what's the word? It kind of just, um, it makes everything a lot easier because I feel like, of course, there's certain things that he doesn't get. Um, actually, probably more specifically to do with like my eating disorder and body image struggles and that kind of thing. He doesn't really understand, but he's always been able to like be there for me. Um, and for a lot of other things, he definitely can relate and does get a lot better. And he wants to listen to me, which is really, it's just such an easy fit. Like it, it just, everything kind of flows really easily. I can't remember ever saying that I liked manly men, but maybe I did. I don't really know. <laughs> I like men with beards. I know that for a fact. I don't know if I ever actually said those words, but maybe I did. I've been on the internet for like, what 10 plus years see i don't see it that way i see jonathan as being a very masculine like on the outside of course there's like an inward but like i'm attracted to the appearance of a more masculine like older <laughs> typical like older male so that that like that wouldn't change how i feel about him or how attracted i am to him sexually it's still the same um on the inside, I think, yeah, he can have some like fe female like qualities, like be able to relate to me better. It's just a really good fit, like I said before. Um, yeah, it's like the best of both worlds, basically. <laughs> like I said, it doesn't really mean anything. Like it doesn't change, not that it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't change anything. It basically means that everything, like I said, it's the best of both worlds. You've got the emotional, side which is you know a good fit because he gets me and then you've got the attraction side like physical attraction side which is also a good fit because he fits what I'm attracted to <laughs> like I don't know how else to explain no because I know how he feels about even the thought of being with the man <laughs> so like no it's just so different for me because none of this is new like I've known 
who Jonathan is on the inside and out for almost 15 years. So yeah, it's just the only thing that's different is that there's a label and I guess that's probably why people don't like labels. I think I just figured that out like right now, but yeah. <laughs> so I've seen a few people have questioned why I haven't made an announcement on my um, social media, like on my Instagram page or anywhere about Eduardo or about Jonathan. Um, and I think a lot of people have confused that for me, not like being embarrassed or upset or any something like that. I think the only reason genuinely why I would never make an announcement, um, I mean, first of all, I have shared anything that we've put out just has happened to be on Jonathan's social media and I will share that. Um, I've happily shared everything and been really open about everything, but the only thing that keeps me from making an actual announcement or, you know, officially saying anything is the negativity that I just don't, I don't need in my life. I choose to keep things pretty light on my social media. That doesn't mean that I don't deal with heavy stuff in my life, but that's just how I choose to portray myself and not even myself, but just like, that's how I choose to just live my life in general. I don't think there's anything wrong with either way. It's just different people are wired differently. And if I'm able to, you know, be okay with the way other people want to be seen on social media or portray themselves on social media, then I think that people should give me that respect as well. Having said that, I do want to say thank you to everybody that's been positive. There's been like 99% of reactions and of people's comments have been hugely positive and supportive and I totally recognize that. Um, I also never want people to feel like they have to fight for me or for Eduardo or for Jonathan, you know, it's just, um, it's really, really lovely when people do that. To say thank you to everyone that's been really, really kind, the DMs, the messages, the comments, um, the tweets, everything that we've received that's been so, so positive. I just can't thank you enough. Obviously this is a two-way street and, you know, we're all growing and learning at the same time. So thank you for being supportive. Please leave a comment down below if I missed anything or if you want me to address anything in a future video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.